Funding for this program was provided by the Annenberg CPB Project. Additional funding is provided by the Stratford Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, George I. Alden Trust, and Alfred E. Chase Charity Foundation. This program is a story to help you learn English. It is a course with video episodes and books. Each video episode has three parts. Watch the program. Read your book. Discuss the program and connect with English. Day five. Morning comes to the desert. The rain has stopped. Joe's Auto Repair. This is Joe speaking. What can I do for you? This is Rebecca Casey. Listen, I left you a message last night about my car. It's sitting right here. Great. Do you know what the problem is? Not yet. It'll take a couple hours. A couple of hours? I have a long trip ahead of me. I just got it in. Call me back in a couple of hours. I'll call back in two hours. Is that okay? All right. What is that? It's Alberto. Oh, come on in. Hey, you're hey. still here. I went yeah. to bring you a pillow last night. I thought you'd left. Oh, really? Oh, man, I'm sorry. A truck driver came up and pulled next to me, and he was making too much noise, so I went on the other side oh. of the motel. I'm glad you didn't leave. Um, may I ask you a favor? Of course. Can I use your shower? Oh, yeah, sure. My back's really stiff, and I think a hot shower would work. Yeah, go right ahead. Um, all the other towels are wet. This is the only one that's dry. Sorry. It's fine. So what's happening with your car? Oh, it's at Joe's Auto Repair. Really? Does he know what's wrong with it? No, not yet. I have to call back in two hours. Oh, you know, you should be careful. Sometimes those mechanics don't know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, but I'm at his mercy. Listen, uh, I don't want to bother you anymore, so I'm just going to take a taxi over to the garage. Thank you for everything yesterday. Hey, I was, I was glad to help. You, you don't have to take a taxi. I'll drive you over there. Just wait till I'm done showering. Oh, it's really not necessary. Thank you again. Bye. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. I'm sorry. How are you today, ma'am? Fine, thank you. I need to get a taxi as soon as possible. A taxi? I need to go over to Joe's Auto Repair. The nearest taxi is in Indio, at least an hour away. Oh, come on. Honest. Well, how can I get over to the garage? Why don't you thumb a ride with one of our truckers? Hitchhike? Well, sure. I'll ask around, see who's going. No, I don't think so. I don't think that it's safe, but thanks anyway. Well, suit yourself. Um, what about your friend, the guy who slept in the car? Um... <clears throat> Hey. Hey. Still here, huh? Where's your taxi? Uh, this is embarrassing, but I tried to get a taxi over to the garage, and there aren't any. And I hate to ask, but could you drop me off there? I don't know, Rebecca. Um, sure. Right. I'd be happy to take you. <sighs> Look, I'm starving. Let's get a bite to eat, okay? Well, we should go over there, don't you think? The garage said two hours, right? Yeah, I guess there's no rush. <laughs> Center Cafe. You don't have a choice. I don't know about you, but I need to eat. I'm starving. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. He's not the kind to stay in one place for 
too long You don't have to tell me that She's not the kind whose love will be true and strong You don't have to tell me that So where exactly are you going? California San Francisco You're kidding No Why do you think I'm kidding? Because I'm from San Francisco That's where I live Really? What a coincidence Isn't it? Small world So what are you going to do in San Francisco? I got accepted to the San Francisco College of Music Oh Then what do you want to do when you finish music school? Well, I hope to be a songwriter What kind of songs do you write? Folk and pop With a little jazz influence I can't believe you're moving to San Francisco <laughs> No Alberto, do you know what this is? That is a dream catcher. What's a dream catcher? Well, according to Native American legend, if you place a dream catcher over your bed at night, mm -hmm. it catches all the bad dreams. And it lets in only the good ones. How <sighs> wonderful. We all need a dream catcher in our lives. the towing. I had hoped to be on my way to San Francisco by now. God, this feels like a bad dream. Yeah, where's that dream catcher when you need one? Well, we have two problems. First, I need your okay on this before I can go ahead with the work. Sign right here. And second, I have the fuel pump, I think. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Got it right here. But I don't have the right gasket. I'll have to send out for send one. Send out? Where? Well, I usually get my parts from a place in Mesa. How long will that take? I was about to say, but it'll take at least a day or two. And that's if they have what I need. And what will the whole thing cost? Well, let me check the price of the gasket. Let me see. Around $520. Oh, no. And I notice there's a problem with the steering. Tie rods, I'm afraid. Well, is it something that can wait? I mean, can I, can I wait till I get to San Francisco? You shouldn't take a chance with your steering. He's right. And how much will that cost? Off the top of my head, another 250 to 300. I, I need to think about this. You want my advice? Let him fix it. I need to think about this. Give me a few minutes. How long will it take your girlfriend to make up her mind? She's she's not my girlfriend. She's just a friend, and I'm, I'm sure she'll make a decision. So, what do you want to do? I don't have $800 to spend on that car. I have to sell it. Is there any chance that you would buy it for me? Buy your car? Yeah, how are you going to get back to... With the money, I can take a bus to San Francisco. It's not a bad car. I mean, my father paid a lot of money for that car a few weeks ago. I'm sure you could sell it for a decent price after you fix it up. Well, there isn't much demand for cars like that around here. People around here want mostly pickups. I'm sure you could sell it to somebody. Do you want to make me an offer? Well, I suppose I could sell it for parts. I'll give you 300 300 It's worth a thousand at least. Okay. How about 400 It's yours for 700 now, five is as high as I can go. You know, it's worth a lot more than that. Come on. Five twenty-five. Five seventy-five. Okay, five fifty. <laughs> Lord knows it's my good deed for the day. Five fifty sold. Now, are there any buses to San Francisco around here? Yep. Greyhound bus stops in Indio. Okay. Right down Route Ten, about a half hour from here. One bus a day. It leaves at two. So now it's 11 o'clock. Plenty of time to make the bus. Do you mind driving me? Of course not. I'll have you there by two. Thanks. I guess I should get all my things out of my car. Yeah. One last thing. Title to the car. You have to sign it over to me. 
The name is Joe Stewart. That's S-T-E-W-A-R-D. Thanks for everything. No problem. Here are your plates. Yeah, thanks. Here you go. So, you ready to go? Yeah. I, I feel really embarrassed. You're driving me to my next destination. I, I feel like you become my taxi driver. If I were a taxi, you couldn't afford me. <laughs> I don't know how I can ever thank you. Listen, I was thinking, we're going to the same place, and I didn't think of this before. I beg your pardon? We're going to the same place, right? Yes. Well, why don't we ride together? Uh, we'll drive straight through. No, I appreciate the generous offer, but I don't think so. I think I better take a bus. Come on, it makes perfectly, perfectly good sense. Alberto, I, I think I should take the bus. But, you know, but why are you spending the money? The bus... Now, let's review and discuss the story. In the morning, she tried to call a taxi. I need to get a taxi as soon as possible. A taxi? I need to go over to Joe's auto repair. The nearest taxi is in India, at least an hour away. But there's no taxi, you know, in the middle of nowhere. This is embarrassing, but I tried to get a taxi over to the garage, and there aren't any. I'd be happy to take you. <sighs> They, they drive to this uh, little town where there are only some houses and a little restaurant. They are very, very hungry. And then they had breakfast. They saw uh, this Native American dream catcher. Alberto, do you know what this is? That is a dream catcher. Yeah. It, it looks Cat really open. like a cobweb mm -hmm. and, and it has feathers and things. If you place a dream catcher over your bed at night, mm -hmm. it catches all the bad dreams. It's supposed to catch. All the bad dreams. All the, all the bad, just the bad dreams. The bad dreams. And what about the good dream? So the good dreams stay. Oh. <laughs> a lot of things are wrong with the car. And I notice there's a problem with the steering. And she thinks and thinks and thinks. And then she decides she would sell the, the car to buy the ticket to go to California. I have to sell it. How are you going to get back to... With the money, I can take a bus to San Francisco. I think it's a good idea for Rebecca to sell her car. I think the car had so many problems, um, she didn't have any choice. There's so many problems with the car, and you never know on where and when the car is going to break it down again, and you never know if Alberto will be there again. She has options now. She has Alberto to give her a ride. She can take the bus. And also, she doesn't really need a car in San Francisco all that much. So she might as well sell it. Day five. Alberto helped me out again. My car broke down. I'll have to take a bus to San Francisco. Seriously though, I mean, we, let me take you back to San Francisco. It's gonna be faster and cheaper. I appreciate the offer, but I think I'll take the bus. Yeah, I suppose you have to be careful. You, know, you just can't drive with anyone. But I still don't even know your last name. Mendoza. Actually, it's Alberto Manuel Mendoza. That's a pretty good Spanish accent. My family's from Mexico. Where in Mexico? A little village west of Monterey. So what's your full name? Rebecca Mary Teresa Casey. My grandparents are from Ireland. Dublin? No, from the west. It's a little town in Galway. I'm told it's a beautiful place, but it's a very poor town. My family's village was poor too. You know, no money, no jobs, just politics. I guess that's why both our families moved to the United States. Oh yeah, that's right. To have a better life, to get an education, and to make a living. Yeah, well, my family never did. Well, hey, you'll be the first. What do you mean? 
Come on, you'll write some wonderful pop song and become a huge hit. <laughs> yeah. I like the way you think. <laughs> Me too. are spectacular. Yeah, it, it says here that these canyons were sacred to the Agua Caliente Indians. It's pronounced Agua Caliente. Agua Caliente. <laughs> and I've got to take some photos. Do you mind carrying my bag? No, not at all. to imagine what these canyons were like so many years ago. Probably much the same as they are today. Look at that over there. Desert Oasis. Yeah, I bet you these palm trees are over 100 years old. This is it. Would you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. I, I need someone in this picture. Can you stand over there by the palm tree? <laughs> Alberto, there are more interesting things to photograph in here than me. No, really, I'm serious. I, I, I need you in the picture to, to give the picture a sense of scale. But I... I don't know. Please? Well, since you've gone out of your way, I guess it's the least I can do. All right, yeah, stand over that palm tree to your right. Right there. Perfect. Yes. Turn, turn around, yeah, turn around a little bit. There, there you go. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, what time is it? You know, you look great on camera. Thank you. We have to go. Hold, hold, hold it right there. Oh, my bus leaves in less than an hour. Hold, hold, hold Alberto, right. please, there's only one bus a day. I have to make it on time. What? Thanks. fast you were going? Maybe 65. 80 miles an hour. License and registration, please. Registration. Registration. License. Uh, officer, let me explain. We I'll were just... be right back. He doesn't give you a ticket. Can say that again. Okay, since you don't have any points on your license, this time I'll give you a warning. Yeah, thank you, officer. Thanks. <laughs> How lucky is that? He didn't give you a ticket. Yes. <laughs> I need a ticket to San Francisco. Round trip? I need a one-way ticket to San Francisco. Um, so, what's taking you to San Fran? Oh, college and a job. Um, people seem to think you can't tie your shoelaces without a college um. degree these days. <laughs> uh, let's see, um, $65. 65 Is that a one-way or a round trip? One way, that's what you asked for. Yeah. Is all this baggage yours? No, it's my friend's. Thanks for all your help. My pleasure. Actually, your driver here did all the work. Where are you going? San Francisco. 
Uh, you know, you have to change in L.A. Mm-hmm. Well, I really appreciate your help. Well, is that it? Uh, is that everything out of your car? Yeah. Your ticket, yep, please. that's it. Uh, we're leaving in two minutes. I guess this is it. Thanks for all your help. It was wonderful meeting you. I mean, all except for the part when the hood of your car fell on my head. Oh. <laughs> Does your head still hurt? No, not really. I'll never forget that look on your face when I found you in the desert. <laughs> I'll never forget when you were sleeping in your car. <laughs> and Tom, the trucker with that engine he borrowed from the 747, yeah. Thanks for being such a good sport. You're welcome. All aboard! Rebecca, look, since we're both in San Francisco, um, why don't we get together? Well, I, I, I don't think I'll have much free time and with school and work and, you know. You, you can't study all the time, right? You need to take a break once in a while. Yeah. yeah. I, it'd be my honor to show you the city. Where can I reach you? I'm staying with my godmother. Does she have a name? Nancy Shaw. <laughs> Do you mind giving me her address? Her phone number? Oh, yeah, I have it somewhere. <laughs> Alberto, I need to explain something to you. I had a boyfriend in Boston. We broke up before I left. For now, I just want to concentrate on my music and worry about my... Rebecca. I just want to show you my hometown. Thanks. Yeah. And listen, um, if you have any spare time, here's my business card. Call me. Okay, folks, we have to go. You two lovebirds have to say goodbye. Let's review and discuss the story. Alberto offers to give Rebecca a ride to San Francisco. We, let me take you back to San Francisco. It's going to be faster and cheaper. Alberto is taking pictures of Rebecca in the desert. Do me a favor. Mm -hmm. I, I need someone in this picture. Can you stand over there by the palm tree? Suddenly they see a blue light. Oh, man, a cop. A policeman came and stopped them for a speeding. Hi. You know how fast you were going? Maybe 65. They arrive at the bus station, and there isn't much time left. He gave her his business card. If you have any spare time, here's my business card. Call me. She's not going to call him. Rebecca is finally catching the bus, and he's on the way to San Francisco. He went back to buy the dream catcher. I'd like this dream catcher, please. I think we are going to see each other. We exchanged phone numbers and he gave her his business card. It seems almost like a thing of destiny. Let me tell you something. San Francisco is a big city. They're not going to meet each other. But they will. Remember, he waved to her and then he went to buy the dream it's catcher. You sense. don't buy a gift like that. And it was meant for her. I agree with her. Maybe he bought it for himself. No. You never know. <laughs> he does have a nice smile. Listen, the guy is a hunk. He has a great smile. 
He's very dashing. He's very interesting. Why wouldn't you want to see him? For more information about this program and course books, call 1-800-532-7637. That's 1-800-LEARNER. Funding for this program was provided by the Annenberg CPB Project. Additional funding is provided by the Stratford Foundation, the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations, Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation, George I. Alden Trust, and Alfred E. Chase Charity Foundation. To learn more about the Annenberg CPB Channel series and workshops for teachers, how to take them for credit, how to buy them on video cassette, call 1-800-LEARNER and visit us at www.learner.org/channel. The Annenberg CPB Channel.